and it's the war clever here and welcome back and after a long wait the world conqueror 4 has finally been released officially on the android play store and without further ado let's start we'll be doing the tutorials first as to get a hang on how this new game works In tutorial 1, we will be playing as the Soviets and we will have to defend against the Germans. So our two targets would be the anti-air in the north and the, turret, the land turret in the south. And before I were to end this mission, I would like to take note of some stuff that I actually noticed. Some of them will be, for example, you can actually cross rivers now without losing a turn. For example, in the previous games, you actually, before crossing the river, you have to stop. And then after you cross the river, you have to wait another turn before you can actually move your units to their regular speed again. But in this game, you can just cross the river as if it's just a normal terrain. And also in this game, the tanks actually only has a 50% base hit to move again after destroying an enemy. But of course in the technology level, you can actually increase their chances of re-attacking after destroying an enemy unit. And also, you can actually build units in this game similar to European War 4 where you can actually stack up units and their attack, defense, 
to actually increase, but it will also cost more resources. And with that, we completed the tutorial one in 5 turns. We have also gained 100 medals. And with tutorial one done, we are able to move on to tutorial two, where they will teach us harder steps, such as the morale of our army, how to construct defensive facilities, capturing cities, building landmarks, and viewing of city information. So our targets would be just basically a German general in a city. So we'll go ahead and rush for that city. But before that, we'll have to clear a path to that city, meaning we'll have to destroy the two armored cars in our way. And with that, we have completed tutorial 2, and yet again, under 5 turns, with 100 medals. And with tutorial 2 completed, we are now able to move on to the third and final tutorial, being tutorial 3. And one small little thing I would like to add, is that, as you can see in World Conqueror 4, the 3 tutorials are now set in the rightful position, such as tutorial 1, hovering above Russia, Tutorial 2, hovering above the Alps and Germany, and Tutorial 3, hovering above the Black Sea, which is pretty good as in the former World Conqueror 3, the three tutorials were all hovering above Russia, even though their actual campaign was set in the Middle East or in the Mediterranean Sea. So I would like to say that's quite a small thing and it was bothering me a lot, but good job EasyTech for fixing it. And without further ado, we can start on our tutorial tree mission.
so our targets would be the city and the aircraft carrier along with the cruiser so we'll have to destroy their navy before attacking their only city We have completed the final tutorial in 9 turns, which has also garnered us 100 medals. And we can actually move on to World War II, the European part for now, as the Pacific part is only unlocked after we complete both Axis and the Allies. And you guys must be wondering how the body clever knows the tactics to every campaign. And of course, the World Declarer is no genius, and so he needs help. And one website he turns to would be the European War 4 bots. And on this website, they have bots dedicated to most of easy tech games, such as the World Conqueror 4 and World Conqueror 3 series, the Glory of Generals, and the European War series. And on this website, it's pretty easy to find what you're looking for as they have actually classified it under subsections of a board. And if you're looking for a walkthrough, you can just go ahead and click on it. And they actually do have links to other subsections of the forms that actually people created. And you can go ahead and look at the walkthrough they actually did. It is pretty easy to find what you're looking for and the community is also pretty active as a bonus and with the community being active you can be sure that if you do have a question you can post it on the bots and the community will actually respond to you I myself have actually had a few questions and I have posted it on the bots and the community have actually responded to it and solved it so it's pretty cool so do drop by on this website and you can find me under the username Dewardy Clever. And with that, thanks for watching and goodbye.